for our last example of this section, uh, we are just going to follow the same rules that we've been following for the past uh, few examples. Uh, so this time, if we make u uh, x squared and dv ln of x, uh, let's see what happens. So u equals x squared, dv equals ln of x dx. Well, now we have to take uh, the integral of ln of x. Well, the integral of x squared may be easier to carry out than ln of x. So let's go ahead and switch those around and use u to be ln of x and dv to be x squared dx. Well, if we choose dv equals x squared dx, then we know that v equals one-third x cubed just by power rule. And we know that du equals one over x dx. And now we can apply uh, these terms into our integration by parts formula. And we get something like the integral of x squared ln of x equals u times v. So v is one third x cubed times v times u, excuse me, ln of x minus the integral of v, one third x cubed times du, which is one over x dx. So no problem here. We just cancel out the x's appropriately and use the power rule. So we have one third x cubed ln of x minus one third integral of x cubed over x is just x squared. So we have that x squared term now. We just apply the power rule to get the integral. One third times one third x cubed plus c. So now if we simplify a little bit, uh, pull out the one, one third x squared ln of x minus one third x cubed and all that has a constant and we can also pull out uh, an x squared term one third x squared ln of x minus a third x well, we seem to be have made a writing error here it should be x cubed ln of x so if you take out the x cubed, then we just have an ln of x minus one third term. And this is our final answer. So sim simply by following the rule of choosing u and dv, uh, we changed our original setup to something that is much easier uh, to solve for using integration by parts. So we, instead of using u equals x squared, we recognize that the integral of x squared is very simple to solve for, so we use that for dv, and we notice that ln of x uh, is easy to take the, in, uh, the derivative of, so we use that for u. So uh, always be on your toes and use these rules to the best of your advantage. So thanks for watching educator.com, integration by parts. We will see you in the next lesson.